Okay, so maybe I will get started. This is very casual. If you can't hear me, don't just say you can't hear me. Mm -hmm. um, they said I could sit, which is great because I don't like standing at the podium. Um, so I'm sitting. My presentation is called Exchanging Ideas because I'm not very clever at coming up with names for presentations. But I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the topic is the ex libris idea exchange. Um, and I'm going to just start with a little anecdote. Someone asked me a month or two ago, so in private, just between you and me, do you like Alma or do you not like Alma? And I said, sometimes I hate it and sometimes I like it. One of the things I hate about it is there's still a lot I don't know and their documentation is not easy to work with. One of the things I like about it is this possibility of change. Now Voyager we had for 23 years and they called it a mature product which basically meant there was no development on it. For the last, I don't know, five to seven years uh, maybe a few little tweaks here and there. But uh, Alma and Summon are products that Ex Libris is continually working on. Um, so, oh, the, the, the other thing about Alma documentation, much of this comes right from the Alma documentation, but Again, it's not very easy to find. So, Ex Libris has this uh, program called Idea Exchange. They're eager to receive ideas from anyone who uses their products. These ideas are an invaluable source for helping us understand your needs and priorities. Naturally, we won't be able to respond to every idea. We will, however, review the most popular ideas, those that receive more than a certain number of points, they don't define what a certain number of points is, so I can't um, tell you that. But And we will respond to them or pe perhaps ask you for uh, follow-up information. And this is the screen you see when you get into Alma Idea Exchange, or rather Ex Libris Idea Exchange. And as you can see, it does, it does list all their products. Uh, the ones that I think we're most interested in are Alma and Summon. If you had an idea for RefWorks, that's a product we use, you could use it for that as well. Um, the others wouldn't be useful for us. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to say, ask questions at any time. I will answer them if I can. If I can't, Maggie's going to write them down, and I will try and get an answer for you later. Okay, so who can submit an idea? You can. Anyone who's employed at an institution that uh, subscribes to Ex Libris products is eligible to submit ideas. This is the, uh, the URL. Uh, to get to the idea exchange, you must create, create an account to submit an idea or comment on an idea. You can see other people's ideas without creating an account and without logging in. And if you submit an idea, you must vote for it. And I'll talk more about votes later. So, what else can you do? You can review ideas submitted by other users. You can comment on any idea that you see on the idea exchange and vote. We live in the United States, it's a democracy. Voting is very important. It's, it's important here as well. And uh, 
Exlibris uses the term votes and points interchangeably. Uh, one vote equals one point. So uh, sometimes you may hear them refer to points, sometimes you may hear them refer to votes. They're the same thing. Um, so voting is how you show support for an idea. And everybody who creates an account starts with 25 votes per product. So you have 25 votes for Summon, 25 votes for Alma. And you can give an idea one, two, or three votes. And again, as I mentioned earlier, if, if you are submitting an idea, you must vote for it at least once. Stephen, is it 25 votes like per year or something? Or well, I'll talk, votes? Okay, I'll talk to that. you. Okay. okay. So you're going to click on either Alma or Summon. And then you're going to click on Sign In. And, and I'll show you these screens more fully later. When you fill, you're going to need to fill in your, your name, email address, and check I agree to terms of service, and then click the sign up button. Creating a password is optional. As an IT person, I say always create a password. Um, but that's really up to you. Again, here's the uh, uh, URL to go to. Once you create, a, once you click on either Alma or Summon, tiny up here in the corner, it says new and returning users may sign in. So this is where you would go to create an account. You would click on uh, sign in. And the first thing you do is put in your email address. And we will share the slides, yes? So don't worry. Yeah, you sure. You receive the slides. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And please use your at rochester.edu email address so they know that you're an individual from an excellent customer site. Once you put in your email address, the rest of the sign up box appears. So your email address will be there. You'll have to put in your name. You'll have to put a check mark in the I agree, I agree to terms of use. And then you'll click on sign up. And to create an account password, once you're signed in, there's a settings button. And that's where you would go to to uh, create your password. Um, and again, it's all the way at the bottom of the screen there. Change your password. You can also, um, I, I've checked the top box. So if, if the status of an idea that I have voted for changes, I get an email mm -hmm. that tells me to you know, check it out and look what has happened. Um, you can put an avatar in there. Mine doesn't have an avatar be either because there's not one associated or it's not rated G. So you get to <laughs> guess which of those is the situation for me. <laughs> I don't have an avatar. <laughs> so submitting an idea. The first thing you should do before submitting an idea is to search for the feature you'd like to suggest. And the reason for that is if it already exists, it may already have a lot of votes. You want to vote for that idea instead of submitting this, uh, the same idea <coughs> excuse me, again. So again, the, uh, they do tend to hide things, the search box is way over on the right and about two-thirds of the way down. And I mean, uh, just put this in so that you can see, um, see more clearly the uh, search box there. Um, when you're submitting an idea, limit each submission to one idea. Phrase your idea as a use case or a story. Um, write a clear title for your idea. 
And that's important because you want other members of the ex Libras community to be able to find it and vote for it. Um, and if possible, assign a category to your idea. Again, this will make it easier for, for other people to find. Their categories are not great. <laughs> but um, So, submitting an idea. Here's an idea. There's too much clicking in all of No, that's not an idea. It's a statement. It's true. But it wouldn't be very, very good to submit on the idea exchange. So, no. Um, for submitting an idea, and this is what I was referring to when I said yeah, a use case. As a role, I would like to propose this feature so that these benefits occur. And role is who, you know, as a copy cataloger, as a person who works at, who circulates books. Um, most ex Libris users wouldn't know what Q&I does <laughs> um, as an acquisitions person. Public, yeah. public service. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, proposed feature, what does the user want to accomplish? And then the feature's benefits. How will the feature help users? What value will the users derive from the feature? So, perhaps this is an idea you might want to uh, submit. The title, add a suppress button to the search results page. As a cataloger, I propose a suppress option be added to the more actions button on the search results page. Staff will be able to find it more, e more quickly and will not need to go into the metadata, metadata editor plus three more clicks. This would t save time and speed up workflow. So that's an example of a well-crafted idea. Yes? Do, do they keep a, a, a record of ideas that were uh, discarded at some point? They do. Oh, okay, and so you can go into the, an archive kind of thing. Yes, yeah. Okay. And we'll talk a little bit more about discarded okay. ideas as we go okay. along okay. as well. So. so, and then remember, you must vote at least once. Presumably, if you're, if you're recommending it, you might want to splurge and vote for it three times. So, um, so for submitting an idea, again, it's ha about halfway down the page. Enter your idea. And what you really should enter there is the title of your idea. That's uh, um, that box has a limited number of characters. I'm not sure what the character limit is, but the title of your idea there, um, the category, if you choose one, and the details of your idea in the describe your idea. They say that's optional. I think that's the most important part, to be honest, is describing the idea succinctly and saying, how it will be beneficial. Um, and then you can vote one, two, or three votes and click on post the idea. Again, pretty small, down in the lower left-hand corner. Stephen, may I ask that, can the title be um, contain any like spaces or any character other than alphabetic? Like, I think or hyphen or any special. Yeah, I, I think any alphanumeric plus special characters. I think. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. You know, supporting other people's ideas, and this might be an idea that we would want to support. Provide the ability to, to separate. <laughs> yes, to separate books and ebooks when searching. I, I imagine a lot of public services people would love this. I personally would love it. So, in order to, to support uh, this idea, you would click on the, the vote button. The vote appears after the number of uh, current votes that, that this has. And that's probably out of date if Moriana just voted for it. So, that's 
probably been in increased since I've made this presentation. 295. 295, yeah. Someone else here. Yeah. Um, even when you're logged in, it will ask you for your password or for your uh, for your email address to uh, to, pres to submit the idea. And again, at the bottom is where you say, where you indicate how many votes you want to give the idea. Um, you start out with 25 points, as I mentioned, 25 for, for each product. If you support an idea that is implemented, declined, or found to already exist, you get those points back. So the points sort of recycle. Oh. Um, so, it, Jennifer, if you <laughs> you don't get 25 points a year, but if you get if you submit an idea and they implement it, you get the votes Point back. Votes back. Um, similarly, if they decline it or or if they say, oh. Really, this feature already exists. They'll give you so even if they decline it, okay, they'll yes. give you votes back. Yeah. Okay. So it's sort of a rolling. Okay. 25. So your votes don't like stay there for a because they they cycle through everything to either implement it, decline it, or I mean, they, are there things that like sit there in limbo the, and they don't have enough votes? The, there are things that sit there in limbo that, that because they don't have enough votes. You can remove your votes. You can't remove your votes from your own. <laughs> you probably wouldn't want to, but um, so I, uh, idea statuses. As you see, this one's under review. Um, that means that uh, an engineer from Ex Libris has reviewed the idea and thought. This is a good idea. What kind of work, what kind of programming would they need to do in order to accomplish this? And Alma Summon is, is very complex because of the index. So if they're not able to index ebooks separately from books, this may take them an, a lot of work to accomplish if their current in, index is not set up that way. So it may, the reason they may not be able to do an idea may be kind of obscure, but they'll try and give as much of an explanation as they can. Um, so one status is under review. And these are actually the five types of statuses. Under review, planned, completed, already supported, and declined. Um, and I mentioned this before, no status is assigned to an, an idea until it has received a certain number of votes, that mystery number that they don't tell you. And I've uh, highlighted again with an asterisk. When, the, when these statuses occur, completed, already supported or declined, you will get your votes back. So you could vote on other ideas. Hmm. I, I see he, here what, with the 92 votes, it's under review. 75 do not. So it might be 100. It, yeah, and sometimes I think they... Oh no, 92 is less than 100. Yeah, and sometimes I think yeah. they... Uh, there is no fixed number? There's no decide. fixed number. Uh -huh. I think if they see an idea and think it's a good idea yeah. and it's easy for their programmers to accomplish, <laughs> they'll, okay. I, they'll do it. Yeah. Um, so, there, yeah, there's no uh, official firm official. number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. the, the, the other question is, do they do anything with these ideas? Is it, did, are, are you wasting your time by submitting this? these ideas. Well, there are new releases of Alma monthly. There are new releases of Summon quarterly in February, May, August, and November. And it is very common to see an idea that originated in the idea exchange 
in new releases. And I snipped this out of the release notes for Alma for November of 2019. And you see this light bulb? The light bulb indicates the idea exchange. This idea came from the idea exchange and they've implemented it. Um, I was writing this presentation while Emily was uh, at Nyla, so I didn't have, I wanted to ask her, oh, is this something that your folks would use? Is this something good for, and I, I was unable to ask, ask her about that. So, because um, this is a fulfillment uh, uh, idea. So, in other words, for, do we want to send out a notification immediately saying something's on the whole shelf, or do we want to wait a certain amount of time? And, uh, and in the past, it went out immediately. Now, that item may not actually be on the whole desk quite yet. So putting in uh, a delay was a good idea. Um, there's this concept of hot ideas, top ideas. Now, I'm not much of a social uh, user of, of uh, social products, so these, this doesn't mean a, a lot to me. The, the thing that's hottest um, on the internet may not be the thing I'm interested in. <laughs> so that's not one of the things I look at, but at any rate, th these do exist. These concepts do exist within the idea exchange. Hot ideas are those that receive the most points in the past week. Top ideas are those with the greatest number of points in this category, regardless of the time frame. So, for example, a new idea that received 30 points in the past week is hotter than an idea that had 500 votes that's been around for some time. But if it received fewer than 30 votes in the past week. So we can take that all for whatever it's worth. Um, things to keep in mind, not all suggestions will be acted on by ex libris. Now, we all know that Ex Libris has another discovery tool called Primo. And where Alma and Primo overlap, there may be Primo suggestions in the Alma section. I find that a little irritating and frustrating at times when I search for an idea and it comes back and it already exists. Oh, but that only applies to Primo. So it's uh, something to be aware of. Um, some ideas may mention a community zone. We don't have a community zone. A community zone is uh, used when you belong to a, when a library belongs to a consortium. No. You're absolutely no. right. No. I'll, I'll fix the slide. The network zone. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they abbreviate abbreviated NZ, and I always confuse it with New Zealand, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you. Thank you for pointing that out, Marcy. Um, when reviewing other users' ideas, keep in mind that their instance of Summon or Alma may be configured differently from ours. So they may say, when I search this, that appears. And for us, that may not appear because we may be configured to follow. Um, I hate the, the term etiquette, but I put it there. Um, just things to keep in mind um, for the benefit of the whole community. Search before you post so that you don't create duplicate ideas. Help maintain a supportive environment. So you don't want to say, make a comment on someone else's idea oh, this is a bad idea. Another thing to remember is Ex Libris is, a, is an international company. Many of their users 
English isn't their first language. So their idea may not be in perfect English. You know, just understand that and, uh, you know, don't go correcting someone's English. Um, don't use the idea exchange to submit support requests. So if you're having problems with Summon or Alma, send those to where we've been sending them since July. Alma request at library.rochester.edu. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the pre prepared presentation. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody want to see anything specific in the, uh, in the idea exchange itself? I have a meeting, so I oh. do apologize. I need to run back to Carson. <laughs> okay. The one thing I, I want to repeat to emphasize is that we've had Voyager for 23 years. For the last five to seven years, it has been static. Mm -hmm. Alma and Summon change. We can influence those changes by voting for existing ideas, submitting ideas of our own. Um, so I really love the fact that the Ex Libris is open to this sort of thing. And as I, as I said, nearly every new release I've seen contained at least one item from the idea exchange. So they do look at them. They evaluate them, and when it's possible, they incorporate them into their software. And, uh, and that's a great service for, for all the users of these products. So, um, anything else? Any questions? Or, uh, so, well, perhaps we can say thanks to Stephen. Oh. Okay.